Uh, we're going to talk about labeling for a little bit now. So I did mention in one of the earlier videos that our instrument for our blood cultures does actually look at and it can see what our fill volumes are. So it is very, oh, excuse us. It is very important that when you are labeling these tubes that you do not cover any of the barcodes on the side. So you see the little QR codes here and here, and then there's this one long black line. Please do not cover any of this. The instrument reads um, the bottle's expiration date, lot number, uh, the number of the bottle itself. It'll read the fill volume here on the side. That's why it has this little barcode here. And then it does have a spot over here where you can put your label. So when you put your label on, you can actually cover up any of this over here. All of this can be covered. If there's a barcode, please try not to cover it. Um, we also ask that you don't label across the bottom because if you can see, there's this little disc in the bottom. You can see the separation there a little bit better. This little disc is what tells us whether or not this specimen is actually growing anything. There is a color change. And if there is anything blocking or hindering the camera from reading the color change, then it will give an error saying that it's positive when your patient may not have anything growing. So now we're extending hospital stays and we're having to plate these out, we incubate them, we do more testing to make sure the patient doesn't actually have growth. The patient just got a whole bunch of extra costs because we labeled wrong, okay? So make sure again, you label in this area over here and it even has a little spot that kind of looks like a label. Put it right here. Please do not cover up any of the barcodes over here. Since we're talking about labeling, I am gonna go ahead and talk about tube labeling um, because our instruments, most of them are automated. So once we get them from you guys and we get them down here, we see them in and we spin them down, we put them on instruments that will run. Uh, chemistry runs all the way around chemistry department. We literally load it and it takes it to every instrument it has to load on. And it'll run all the tests without us having to touch it. And then in hematology, there is an instrument that all of our purple tops go on and they're all automated as well. So as soon as we put it on there, it reads the barcode and does everything for us, even gets us our slides and stains them. Um, what we have to have for those is for our tubes to be labeled properly. If they are not, our instruments won't read them and then we'll have to find them, especially in chemistry when they're on the track and they're going through the system, we have to locate them, pull them off, relabel, get them back on, or load them manually and do all the testing if we have to run from machine to machine. So to make it a little bit easier and faster for you guys to get your results, we do ask that you try to do your labeling like this. So underneath, and if I can show you one that doesn't have a label covering it up, there's a little barcode, I mean a little label on there for the tube itself. I promise you, we don't need to see these. You can cover these up. I would say use these as your guide. Line it up on one side and bring it across, okay? We also need to be able to see this window. There are several tubes that we have to share if we have to aspirate out. Um, we don't wanna accidentally stick our pipette into the gel because then we'll aspirate up gel and we don't accidentally want to mix up any tubes that don't have a separator and pull up red cells and we have to spin it again so please leave us a window so that we can do a proper separation of the tubes for you guys and then we also ask that you keep your barcode at the top if you are using one of the barcodes from rover or if you end up having a cerner label sent up to you and you have to collect it using that the barcodes are kind of off center make sure you get the majority of the barcode to the top so what you would want to do is put the bottom of your label here and wrap it around. So I think these are all patient labels. If you do send out a patient label, you can stick them on here like this. These barcodes don't matter. We're going to cover them up. Okay. Um, a lot of times what we do get is we get our Cerner label put down here. Well, we can't, we can't scan anything because when it goes into the rack, the rack is going to hold the tube about right there. So it's going around the tube system and it can't read the barcode at all because it's screwed up. We also have seen these. Please don't do this. Um, each tube gets its own label. Uh, if you're doing a PD tube, I'm not sure if your areas do pediatric tubes, but if you do do the pediatric tubes, please make sure that you put all of the pertinent information towards the top. So the top of your barcode would go up here and leave it a little tail. We'll rip it off. Majority of the barcode will be on the tube itself. Um, we have had them fitted to where even with the big barcodes that you have from Rover or from ours or from Cerner, it'll fit the barcode on here to the point where we can scan it and keep going. 
okay. and I'll poke the top. On the pediatric tubes, oh. can you put the specimen in there without taking the top off? No, you cannot. Yeah. Please don't do that. Um, I'm surprised. I have seen some. I'm surprised that it has happened, but uh, these tops are not meant to be punctured. Um, if you can see, and if you've ever held one in your hand, they are very hard plastic. Even the center is very hard plastic. These are not meant to be poked with a needle. Um, if you notice the difference between ones that are, there's rubber inside. It's not plastic. These are hard plastic. Please do not try to stick these with a needle. Um, you will run the risk of either accidentally missing and sticking yourself, causing a needle stick, or you could break the needle and it could splash back and we don't want that to happen either, okay? Um, so these are particular, you have to take the top off, dump what you need in there, put the top back on. Just please, again, with these, do not overfill. So when you are um, putting your blood in here, whether it be from a syringe or you actually do a finger stick on a patient, make sure you're not overfilling. They will get rejected if they're overfilled, okay? If you have a tube that's going to supply more than one lab, mm -hmm. do you want more than one sticker on that tube? I do not. <laughs> you can put one on there. Just we ask you put the rest of them in the bag with the sample. Um, when we get them down here, so say you have three different accessions on one tube. So you've got an ionized calcium, you have a Chem 8, and then you have a TSH, but they all have different accession numbers. Okay. If you put just one of those on there and send the rest of them in the bag with the sample, we will decipher which one goes on what. Um, we actually end up pouring them over and giving new labels to everything. So all you have to do is put one label on, put the rest in there. You don't have to wrap any around the top. I know I've seen that quite a bit. Um, if they're multi-labeled, uh, we get this kind of often. You'll get, I'll just use this for example, you'll get your label and we'll see this. It's just kind of stuck on here like this. And then you'll have a label here and you might have another label down here. Uh, one label will do it. Just make sure that the labels that you send with it are for the patient that you're sending the tube for. Um, we do get that often too, where they're either left in the room from a previous patient or you're on your way to collect your next patient and we pre-printed labels. So we wanna make sure that whatever labels go in the bag are the labels for that patient. And we also ask that you don't pre-print unless we specifically ask you to. And if we specifically ask you to, you called and asked us for help <laughs> and we're coming up to collect. So um, we do ask that, like I said, make sure the labels that are in the bag match the patient. Any more questions? No? All right. Thank you. Thank y'all.